Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you how. Okay, I take my Copaxon. I got this little carrying case, and it's got my name and got my uh, prescription here. You know, so if you ever stopped or anything, they, they want to know about it. Um, three things you're going to need cotton swab or an alcohol wipe, cotton swab, your shot, your machine. And the clipper. I don't know how to count either, by the way. Um, but anyways, first thing you want to do is this is your shot machine. This thing is the thing that gives you your shot every day. Simple to use. Okay. Um, you want to screw it. Take this end, which has the little safety thing on here. You just Push that in. That's it. That's all you do with that. Okay. On the tip here, oops, let me get you in the camera here. It's got 10. See, it's got 8. You unscrew it and the needle won't come out as far. So if it's on this, that's probably a 7, so the needle won't stick out as far. Now I know in my arm I need to be a 6. That's a 6. Okay. See the six? You barely can see the six. You can just barely see the tip of it. Okay? That's the line for the six. Because the way you check is two inches or, or less than two inches is six. Two inches or more is eight. So I know in my gut, in my legs, is eight. In my arm is six. So I put it on six. Set this down for a second. You take your shot. They come preloaded. You don't have to use no syringes. You peel it open. Take your shot out. Throw your wrapper away. Now what I like to do, okay, this has been out. It's it's room temperature. You can keep them out of the uh, package for a month. You see a little air bubble? You want to shake it up. Get the air bubble to the top, okay? I want to take that off. And just squeeze the syringe till the air bubble goes away. That's it. Okay. Then you want to very carefully put it back in your, your little cap. No more air bubble. They say that gets rid of the sting that you will get. Um, and the sting is generally afterwards. Not so much while you're taking the shot. Okay. Take this. You either put this on a surface like this, or I just put my pinky here, okay? This goes in here like this, pretty simple. I'm going to back up a little bit. Get one. There you go. It's loaded. It's all the way in, okay? Screw this back on. Now, take your cotton swab, or your alcohol white cotton swab. You want to take your cotton swab and clean off a spot, okay? Now, after you've cleaned up your spot with your cotton swab, I want to show you something when you cock this. That window's open, okay? Now, when I shoot it, it's going to push the syringe and it'll turn red when it tells you it's done. And it'll, uh, I'm going to actually try and do this so you can see it in the camera, maybe. I'll get this to stay. Whoops. Let me back up here. Before you before you pull the trigger on this, you got to take this cap off, and you just pull it. And what's in there is the cap that was on the needle. Okay, set that down. I keep this shirt up. And this is all you do: push down just to take the slack out of it, because that's the safety on your gun or your your shot thing. See the window? It just turned red. And you can actually hear it. It's done. You put a cotton swab over it. For a few seconds. Keep that thing straight up. Don't be poking anybody with it. Okay. Put the shirt down. Now, the little clipper thingy. This thing here. Okay. You unscrew this, 
needle comes out in the side there's a little hole you put your needle and that's it and then you get a sharps container that uh, holds the needles and then the needles will stay in here um, there's actually I don't know quite a few of them in there right now and it'll sting a little bit after you shoot it um, and then here's what I have to do is I have to uh, <laughs> number mine so I don't forget if I've taken it or if I have not taken it or what because I have got a really bad memory um, you know I'm one of these guys that has to put everything in its exact place when I'm done with it or I will forget and lose it literally okay that's all put away and then that sits right here and then that's it for the shot um, the doctor says it should take about four months or so to notice side effects I've been on it a little over a month now um, I don't want to say if I've noticed any side effects yet or any change in the effects I had. I don't really have any side effects of the medicine. Um, they say your shot area will become red. Okay, you can see mine. It doesn't really bother it. Um, this, they say you get like a stinging effect afterwards. The sting I get is the equivalent of You know, a mosquito bite, I guess you would say, afterwards. Where, you know, you got to... It's not so much the sting, it's the irritation of it. Um, you know, I'm still going to the doctors. I'm still working on the cognitive part of the MS. You know, like I said, we put a name to it. It makes everything so much better. Um, you know, now we can work on the big picture instead of working on the small picture. That's the main thing. So anyways, that's the end of uh, this video. So keep watching.